Good morning, this Saturday morning. God bless each and every one of you wonderful people. You know, you can't do nothing against the truth. <laughs> All right. You know when, when you can't, not, 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 not people, not people that, that's strong in their beliefs and strong in their lives. They don't change. They say the same thing. Bishop Johnson didn't change. Paul Prophet, he didn't change what he said. E.W. Took didn't change what he said. Uh, although, although E.W. said, well, that's, that's an error in the scripture. He didn't change what he said. But these little wannabe false prophets, they changed. <laughs> they changed what they said. <laughs> like Peter Cox. I just waking up a few, well, a few minutes ago. Now, Peter Cox said concerning the Son of God, he said, God left the body of Jesus. Uh huh. He also said that what he said previously, the first thing he said, I'm sure what he said, he said, God left the body of Jesus. Mm -hmm. When he gave up the ghost. God left the body of Jesus. Well, when Jesus said, into thy hand I commit my spirit. Jesus wasn't talking to himself. <laughs> When Jesus said, Father, forgive them, he wasn't talking to himself. Or else, Jesus would have said, I forgive you. Well, <laughs> but you know not what to do. I forgive you. Jesus said the same thing Stephen said. And Stephen saw him up in here. Jesus knew he was up in here. All right. Mm-hmm. I'll be said, God got out of that body. Then Peter came back back and said, after we be, whipped his tail, whipped his hind paw, he covered all the pressure and changed his speech. Now, nothing wrong with change if you change for right. I get that clear. So when you catch a lie, you're in a lie. They have to tell another lie to cover up the lie that's called me in the first time. The former lie he told was, and I'm just, I do this for entertainment. I think nothing of him. The former lie he told was, okay. Say, so Peter, what happened? When Jesus rolled from the dead, Peter said, God came back and got in that body. God came back and got in that body. Uh huh. Then he said, the body went back to what it once was. When for you said body and body, that, you know, that, the scripture say Jesus. The scripture say Jesus. The scripture don't say that body, it say Jesus. They don't want to recognize Jesus, but nevertheless, then last week he was asked the question. He said, remember he said God came back and got in the body. Now, last week he changed and said, well, God took the body back to heaven with him. And someone asked him, well, what is that body doing? He said he don't know what the body is doing. Ask God. What? You see how, see how he changed? How you don't know what the body is doing? That's God. If God got back in the body, if Jesus is God, as you said, 
How you don't how you don't know what the body doing? I don't know what the body doing, that's God. God took the body up there with him, so I don't know what the body doing, that's God what the body doing. So he making the distinction there. He exposed himself there. Ask God what the body doing. I thought God was the body, that's what he said. Ask God what the body doing. That's a separation there. Ask God what the body doing. In other words, I it, 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 the script don't say that the body was standing on the right hand of God or the body is sitting on the right hand of God. It said Jesus. Nevertheless, but he said, as that God, I don't know what the body is doing. That God, what the body is doing. So God going to go, so, so the body in there, or the body standing beside me. That's a separation. By your inconsistency, you prove it that Jesus is not God, and Jesus is the Son of God. Because you say you don't know what the body is doing, and God what the body is doing. You old hypocrite. 